tell me about the forest? It's... It's hard to put into words, really. It wasn't just the forest, but the darkness on the island itself. Through the Woods is a third-person Norse horror adventure set in a forest on the western shores of Norway. The game has a few graphical issues that could be a deal-breaker for some. I had one such issue where all reflections would flicker black. A lot of people say that Unity games look bad, but in my experience they can be distinct and beautiful. But this game makes me understand what they could be talking about. It's not unplayable, but I was getting regular frame rate drops to 30 frames per second, which is a hurdle to get past. I started the game using the default audio settings which were in English, but after the first cutscene I swapped to Norwegian and found the experience to be more immersive. Okay, just keep away from the pier. It's old. I will. Okay. Go ahead, Lumelukten, do so tie a coffin at the bear. The game excels when it comes to lore and references to Scandinavian and Norse mythology. Some parts of the game might make you think of Hellblade's Sinua's Sacrifice. Through the Woods doesn't have the polish of that game, but Hellblade's main point of criticism was the dull repetitive combat system. So I'm pleased this game's developer, Antagonist, opted for a more passive gameplay style where you can absorb the setting and lore without the distracting combat. But this isn't a review. I want to look at the monsters, characters and references scattered throughout the game, so let's dig into the lore of Through the Woods. For anyone that hasn't played the game, I'll explain a bit about the story and setting. A widowed woman named Karen lives in the woods with her son, Espen. Espen is kidnapped by an old man who calls himself Old Eric, which is a Norwegian name for the devil. Espen, jeg kommer! Old Eric shoves Espen into a boat, and Karen swims after them through the fog. This scene goes on forever, by the way. She arrives on a strange island with ruined, abandoned villages and a shattered moon. The villagers she encounters have gone mad, and the rest hang from trees. It's <laughs> your she encounters trolls and other mythical creatures on the journey to find her son. There is a huge boar called Serimnir. The pig is mentioned in the poem Grimnismal, where Andrimir, the cook of the gods, slaughters the beast and throws him into his cauldron, Eldrimnir. Serimnir is eternal, so after the boar is eaten, it is regenerated the following day, providing an endless source of food for Isir and the Enheria. In the game, it appears deformed with human arms. We find a note from a villager. He says it has been driven mad after being slaughtered and roasted so many times for the hungry warriors of Valhall. Here is the stanza from the poem. By Andrimir, in Eldrimir, Serimnir, the boar, is boiled. The best of bacons, though tis barely known what the Enheria eat. The Nukin are shapeshifting water spirits in Germanic mythology and folklore. They are sometimes known as a brook horse because they take on the form of a horse. They tempt men and children to ride them and lead them back to the lake to drown. Nuk from Frozen 2 is inspired by this. 
In Scandinavian folklore, the Nakan, Naki, and Nook were male water spirits that played songs on the violin. They lured women and children into the lakes and streams to drown. Not all of these spirits were evil. There are stories that depict humans interacting and falling in love with them, but they often ended with the Nook leaving and returning to their waters. It is said that when a Nooker tries to carry a person away, they can be defeated by uttering their name. Being shapeshifters, it's difficult to describe their appearance. We briefly see something resembling the creature in the game. We also find one of the villagers' tales. Tis said Nookin lurks in the waters near here. Can't say I been one for such fanciful stories for yester eve. Saw a small grassy hillock resting in the water. The lake's usually smooth as glass, so I rubbed my eyes and looked again, and by the gods, I swear I saw a pair of eyes staring at me through the tangle. I blinked but the hillock was gone with a ripple. I shuddered and bent back to me work, but then there came a bubbling in the waters right near the shore, a clump of weedy tendrils dripping mud came searching from the lake. I sprinted away to my cabin, gibbering, thinking about what kind of ghastly creature might follow those weedy fingers. Tis said you can rid yourself of Nookin if you speak its name. The thought that something could give a creature like that a name is near enough to drive me mad. In Norse mythology, Skull and Hattie are two wolves who pursue the divinities of the sun and the moon, known as Sol and Mani. In Old Norse, Skoll means one who mocks, and Hati means one who hates. They are only mentioned in passing in the Eddic poem Grimnismal. This is the relevant stanza. Skoll is the name of the wolf who follows the shining priest into the desolate forest, and the other is Hati, Rovitnir's son, who chases the bright bride of the sky. Late in the game is where you face them, holding only a torch and a flashlight. There's something awesome about coming face to face with giant talking wolves. The Hulde is a beautiful female creature from Norse folklore often having long blonde hair and a crown made of flowers. She would seduce young men and lead them to the mountains, where she would not let them go unless they married. The only thing that distincts her from humans is the tail of a cow, which sends men fleeing when they see it. If the Hulda wedded the man, she would turn into a hag, she would gain the strength of ten men and her tail would fall off. In the game, there's a note warning the travellers of the Huldra's presence in the mountains, where Huldra stalks these grounds. Bitch will feed on anything she can catch. If ye must pass, keep a torch burning always. Cursed creatures hate the light. When stalled, they let out one of the worst screams I've heard in a video game. The screaming. The screaming of the bitch. I can barely stand it no longer. The sound carries so strangely up here in the hills. I hear her catching birds and calling for her long gone mate, mourning the loss of her eyes. Seems the herd set a trap some days past. Lured her neath the tower with a pile of dead crows and poured boiling tar on her when she came near. They tried to shoot her with burning arrows, but ye'd more easily find a horse with gills than a man of the herd with a good eye. Wretched thing didn't die, just ran away wailing into the dark. But the screaming. If she didn't keep me from sleep and cause me to mind my own lost love, I should almost feel pity for her, as I feel pity for that old man Eric and his terrible task. Which will explain why the Huldra is so pissed off when you see them. Later we find the skeleton of a child. There's a note that says it was taken by the Huldra to live with their people. Garm is the bloodstained guardian of Hell's Gate. 
He resides in Nipalje, the cave that leads to the gates of hell, the Norse realm of the dead. It's a creepy place you can visit in the game. We find the dog wounded outside of the gates of hell. He asks Karen to kill him by dropping a boulder on his head. In Voluspa, in Edic poem, Garm is mentioned. Now Garm howls wildly before Nipper Cave. Chains will snap and the wolf will run. Nearby we see Mjolnir, Thor's hammer. And when I say Thor, I'm not talking about this twat. I'm talking about this magnificent goat riding ginger bastard. With the hammer being so close to Garm, I'm not sure if they're implying that Garm and Thor fought during the war, or if it's just a little nod to Thor, who presumably would have died during Ragnarok. After Garm, we briefly see a ghostly figure floating around the marshland. I believe this creature to be Hell, the goddess Hell, not the place Hell, which is also spelled H-E-L. Norse mythology is confusing. Her name means hidden, which is a reference to the underworld and the dead being hidden or buried beneath the ground. Where the witch in the mire? Crone's vile magic brings visions of terrible deeds from the past, forces ye to watch them reviled. Beguiled folks wade into the fen and never return. If ye hear a lovely croonin, there be no shame in turning back. Wear the veiled hag. Hell is the daughter of Loki, making her part of a highly dangerous and disreputable family. She is harsh and cruel, indifferent to the concerns of both the living and the dead. Hell makes Karen relive her past traumas. I don't really know what the writers intended you to feel for the character of Karen. It is revealed that in the past, Karen accidentally hurt Espen multiple times, to the point where her husband filed for divorce. Karen then claims that her husband was the one that was hurting Espen, and she ends up winning full custody. The father then ends up committing suicide. It's just really fucking odd, and I'm not really sure if the game deals with these themes that well. Like another game I'm looking at. Everyone in the game seems to hate Karen too. This video is naturally full of spoilers, but this next one pertains to the main story ending, so turn off now if you intend on playing. At the end, Karen catches up with Espen and old Eric near the mountainous jaws of Fenris. Espen sacrifices himself into the mouth of Fenris, and they all return to the new world. Old Eric is dead, and Karen tries to perform CPR on Espen, but it's too late for him. Karen knows that Espen's sacrifice only delayed the full apocalypse by a few years, and that Fenris will require more children eventually. To honour her son's sacrifice, Karen has to pick up the mantle of old Eric so that all of the sacrificed children didn't die in vain. So Karen gets redemption for hurting her son and gaslighting her husband into suicide by going off to murder more innocent children. I'm not a Norse mythology expert, so let me know if you've got any different takes on what the clues could mean. I bought the Digital Collector's Edition, 
so the game, soundtrack and digital art book came to £3.51 or $4.80 in the US. As I said in my previous video, I want to keep looking at cheap Steam games. I just invested in a new user interface for my microphone, so hopefully things sound a little bit clearer. Thanks for watching. <laughs>